Now I've received several comments asking me to do an example with, with a bad and a good on the axes so that you can see how to draw in difference curves um, and um, maybe do a, a sort of a real world application of that. Well in this video I'll do half of that. I'll show you a sort of a contrived example where we have one bad and one good on the axes and I'll talk about how to draw the indifference curves um, so that uh, so you have an example of how you draw indifference curves with a good and a bad. So let's get started. In this example we're going to think about a person who cares about two things media attention and number of hot dogs consumed. Maybe a hot dog eating champion might uh, might care about these two things and might be thinking about trading off these two things. So let's actually think about a couple of bundles. Choose between bundle A where you get five newspaper articles written about you if you eat 20 hot dogs or uh, there's bundle B where you eat 40 hot dogs but get seven newspaper articles written about you. Now obviously with these, uh, these quantities of hot dogs uh, you, may, you might be thinking that this is not a good thing. Um, in fact, if you're looking at bundle A and bundle B and you're choosing between these two, you might be thinking, well, which one do I prefer, bundle A or bundle B? And depending on your preferences, it's not, alto not altogether certain. If these were both goods, we would, we would think that uh, a good um, or bundle B would be unambiguously better because it's got more of both goods. But in this case, uh, we're in a situation where media attention might be a good, but hot dogs is not a good, uh, especially once you get to your 21st or 39th hot dog, uh, you're probably not feeling so well. Uh, so the way to think about this is that it's possibly ambiguous about whether B uh, is better than A, and we want to be able to draw the indifference curves in a way that can express this. So one way to, uh, one way to organize this is to think about uh, well what would be the best of all possible uh, situations. Um, best of all possible situations is over here by uh, my makeshift sun, where we have very few hot dogs, we're kind of over this direction, but a lot of media attention. It might not be feasible, but that would be ideal uh, from the standpoint of this person's preferences. So closer to the sun would be better situation. And so, for example, maybe I could draw an indifference curve that would tell me how close I am to this sun. This is, this is an indifference curve in the very same way that we described in the basic, uh, basic video on indifference curves. Um, more uh, sort of higher, closer to the sun is better. Um, this is higher up the mountain of utility. You get more utility as you get closer uh, and closer to the sun. Um, and actually, the direction of uh, better or higher utility is up and to the left. Now that it, now that hot dogs are a bad, that would be that would be the way we would we would conceptualize that. And so, if we were to continue this, we would say, well, unambiguously, bundle C would be better than bundle B. For after all, it has more of a good and less of a bad, so that's unambiguously better. And bundle D would be unambiguously worse. And you can see that the way we drew this indifference curve, um, we could have drawn it, uh, it with that sort of usual shape, um, but actually missed uh, going above the uh, bundle A. Um, so I've drawn it so that we prefer bundle B to bundle A. At any rate, this, this shows at a very basic level, um, maybe with a contrived setup, um, what, how you would draw in difference curves if you have uh, both goods and bads on the axes. And hopefully this is helpful to you in your applications.